This is Mark Marizaldi, head baseball coach at Seton Hill University. This is Figure It Out Baseball. This is phase three of our daily base running routine. Um, phase one and two were in two separate videos. Those are lead up drills working on our quick starts. Now we're getting more into reads and steals and the proper footwork with the, uh, the different types of leads and steals we want to execute. We're really focusing on two different ones right here. Uh, one is our straight steal where we're working off max lead and we're going first movement on a pitcher. Our second one is when we need to gain a little bit of an advantage and we want to have an active lead, what we like to call a hop steal. And we'll demonstrate both of those. This is our verbal method. We have uh, three different verbal, I guess, exercises that we take our guys through and uh, Jamie and, and Adam are gonna demonstrate those. Our first one is when we are going first movement off a pitcher. Uh, so we're going first movement, we are at max lead. When we see that first movement off a pitcher, we're just working on proper, uh, we're just working on getting a good quick start and a good quick first movement. So what you see here is actually the product of the uh, six or seven drills that we did leading up to this, our quick start drills. Go. Our second technique is going to incorporate our hop steal. So now we are trying to get some type of additional momentum going, and our philosophy is to use this hop into a steal. So that's two movements from our from our base stealers. They're going to hear two verbals from me. Go, go. You saw that under control first movement from them was a hop for some momentum. If they are on time and they know that pitcher's timing, it should be a hop rate into a sprint. We'll demonstrate what happens when they're not on time. We still want to be able to steal this base even if our timing on that pitcher is not perfect. Same thing, two verbals. Go. Go. See they did a good job not giving away their body position. They tried to cheat with momentum, stayed active, and continued on uh, into the stolen base. Uh, once they knew that pitcher was going home. Okay. The last thing that we will actually practice is not being on time with that pitcher's timing using our hop lead where he uh, he comes over to first base. So we're anticipating a pitch and we get a pit. We want to be prepared for that and we'll practice it. Okay, so you'll hear two verbals. Ready? Go. Back. One more time. Let's work out one more time. We're anticipating the pitcher's timing. Go, back. So those are the three verbal exercises we'll use for our guys to work on quick starts and hop steals. One other method that we'll use for our guys uh, to incorporate a little bit more of anticipation. They don't see me, all they do is hear, so they have to have a quick reaction. A big part of base running and base stealing is anticipation. So we try to give guys uh, a sake of comparison. Now they will go off with my clap and they are able to look at me. So now I want our base stealers to feel the difference between going a quick first step and anticipating that pitcher's delivery, okay? Go off the clap, do it twice. They have their eyes right on me. They're gonna anticipate my hands coming together. Ready? see these base stealers when they are anticipating that pitcher or anticipating my clap you'll see them start to lean a little bit so it's encouraging a little bit of uh, aggressiveness and anticipation okay. Good. those are our uh, three verbal exercises and one nonverbal exercise with the clap uh, for guys to work on their quick start steals uh, this is Mark Marizaldi, head baseball coach at Seton Hill University, and this is Figure It Out Baseball.